when you clearly see that the rates are dropping on the market, probably you wait. We've got a great pricing special going on right now, quarter improvement on all of our non-QM business, including second liens. When the borrower has some room and is a little more riskier type of a borrower. I've heard the market went crazy about the appraisals. Well, n number one, get approved and start doing business with us. Just lock it during the month of August during our summer sizzler special. No jokes here. Hello and welcome dear viewers to another insightful episode of AD Digest. I'm your host Nikita Verindab and today we have an engaging lineup that promises to delve into the heart of the economy and the ever-evolving mortgage industry. Joining us are two esteemed guests, Alex Suslov, the head of Capital Markets, and of course, Mike Pearson, the senior vice president of business development. Alex will shed light on the current um, economic landscape and its impact on the mortgage sector, while Mike will unveil an exciting promotion that's stirring up the heat this summer. Let's jump right in and gain valuable perspectives from these industry leaders. Michael, Alex, welcome back to the studio. Um, as always, happy to see you here. Thank you for joining us today at a and Mortgage Digest. Here we are again. Happy to be here. Gonna be fun, right? As always. Um, how's it going? How's it been? It's been actually a while. Last episode was like several weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things have been great. Temperature's up. Business oh, yeah. is up. No complaints. Wonderful. Been missing that, you know. Your jokes, uh, Mike's jokes. <laughs> That's my that, that perfect trio. So, like, I hope we're gonna actually hear more jokes today about the in the mortgage industry. Talking about jokes, but no jokes here. No, <laughs> no jokes here. Um, the summer sizzler. So, I've seen a lot of excitement about the summer sizzler um, pricing special. Right? Is that all about? Mike, could you please uh, shed light on it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like I said, the summer is heating up. Right? There's your there's your joke of the day. <laughs> Um, we've got a great pricing special going on right now, quarter improvement on all of our non-QM business, including second liens, uh, 700 score better. There's a number of states. I can't list them all right now, um, but I think nine states are, are involved. So it's been fantastic. East coast, West coast. Oh, across the board, across nice. the board. So nice. It's all spread out. You have California there. You have Connecticut over there. So yeah, the idea is to target the states where the pricing of the properties, where actually the heat cooled down a little bit, those markets where the properties are not super overvalued and uh, where we want to have more, more presence at this moment. In the, in the rate market we are in right now, um, every quarter help, right? Absolutely. So, um, Alex, how do you create those uh, Sizzler? Yeah, absolutely. So we have our research department that is analyzing the whole industry overall. We analyze property values. We analyze unemployment rates in, in each state, in each county um, and zip code. So and based on that information, basically based on the housing market information, how the property is appreciated and depreciated in the area. How's the market been performing there as far as the delinquencies, prepay speeds and all that. And based on that information that our uh, department gathers, analyzes and processes, uh, we make a decision what, what area would be a great fit for the portfolio as far as the quality of the loans. Um, the most important part, how actually brokers can take advantage of this specials? Well, n number one, get approved and start doing business with us. Right. Obviously, that's, that's the one. first thing. And then it's just as easy as uploading your loan. If it's a qualified loan in one of those states and meets the requirements, uh, as soon as you submit and lock your loan, the pricing will go into effect automatically. Just lock it during the month of August during our summer sizzler special, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. So it's when they actually lock the rate of that special. Correct. Yeah, the, right? yeah. I mean, the the automation will pricing in there for you. It's it's pretty easy. Wonderful. Um, by the way, about actually locking the rate, Alex, do you think it's better to lock the rate at the beginning um, of the file or it doesn't matter? It depends on the environment where, where we're in um, and the current situation when rates can go down or can go up and where you have volatility on the market, probably you want to, uh, and that depends on a salesperson, on a broker and on a partner of on what do you present to your borrower with the situation your borrower has most likely, right? Because 
if the borrower wants to get something fixed right now, if they're uh, close somewhere on the DTI limit or GSCR ratio limit, you'd probably lock the rate right now to have something uh, fixed on the table, right? When the borrower has some room and is a little more uh, riskier type of a borrower and says, uh, you know, I want to play with the market a little bit, maybe rates will go down. It depends. And it all has to be according to the broker. Like For example, when, when you clearly see that the rates are dropping on the market, probably you wait, right? Uh, but when the situation is volatile, there is, you know, I think an understanding that you want to have something fixed right now in order to sleep well at night. Um, do we have any other like specials? Do we have like, like changes in pricing maybe? Do we have changes in the programs maybe? Oh, we've seen a lot, absolutely. So we did what? We did the uh, improvement across the board recently. Yeah, Prime Jumbo we did. Uh, my improvement was super Prime excited. Jumbo. Pricing yeah, those long on, on the price. Like, yeah, that's good oh, stuff. that's the pricing. <laughs> So now we're actually expecting to get more business for Prime uh, programs, guys. So pricing for poor Jumbos, um, what about the appraisals? Because I've heard the market went crazy about the appraisals. There was a huge update uh, from Fannie and Freddie just recently on the approach to the appraisals, uh, where Fannie is basically saying that broker cannot have any uh, effect, any influence on the appraisal. He cannot uh, or the appraisal under his name and things like that. And that went into effect uh, a couple of weeks ago. We we'll followed that pattern. There were some cases, as we understand from the market, that uh, appraisal values were um, affected from, from the outside and appraisals were probably inflated. And right now in the environment where the market is on the um, high levels as far as property prices uh fannie mae and freddie uh they're looking uh to be a little risk averse and make sure there is no uh side influence from the interested parties in the transaction so um right now when the broker gonna actually order the appraisal um the system will automatically assign them an mc correct mm -hmm. Yeah, thankfully we have a lot of AMCs that we work with. They're all monitored. We keep the best of the best on our list. So you can't go wrong. Uh, it just makes the ordering process easier. You just order your appraisal and move on. It will be a random selection. The main idea is that the broker, they just say, I need an appraisal basically and, and click the button. It will be still easy for the brokers. It's just that. Even easier, I think. There's like no, no job box anymore. All they need to do is just like place the order and the system will automatically give them the appraisal Correct. company. Easy. Guys, that was actually fast. I want to ask you a couple more questions. How have you been doing? Uh, how how do you enjoy working in the mortgage industry? I mean, it's it's been fantastic in our world. I mean, we've been doing a lot of travel. Uh, you guys have probably seen A&D all over the map. So we do a lot of trade shows, a lot of functions. Um, so we've been very busy trying to spread the word. Lots of education. We're doing tons of webinars. So uh, it, it's been it's been fun. Summer's supposed to be quiet. It has not been that way. It's been very busy, very active, and uh, you know the the number of loans that we're closing, locks that are happening, uh, reflects the efforts of our marketing team and our sales team, secondary team. The that it takes a village, as they say, right? So we've been very busy. Everyone expected like uh, uh, not in the market um, business to slow down in summer, but eventually we we receive a lot of it. So people are refinancing, still purchasing. We've been busy. I mean, certainly, you, if you read any reports, applications are down. You know, rates have certainly affected some things. Um, but you know, we, we you know, <laughs> thanks in part to uh, you know a lot of work on our marketing team. Like I said, a lot of fine tuning program guidelines and pricing and you know, secondary and team have been doing there. Uh, we've been able to stay busy and uh, we continue to grow. And you know, we want to be a partner for life. Beautiful. Uh, that's actually what I hear, guys. Thank you so much. I mean. If you have anything to add, um, please. I have no more questions for you. Think right on point and cover a lot of stuff, the way we develop, what's going on in the market, and news updates, rates, guidelines, uh, everything I think covered for uh, for this week. And the best part also, like each week we have updates. Each like each two weeks, I would say. So everything is changing. We change the programs. We change the pricing. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's not easy. You got to you got to stay up with the market. Right. Uh, this is an ever evolving market, so it's nice to have this format. Um, you know, I'm glad I don't have to be here every single week because that's a lot of talking. Uh, but we have, you know, obviously great guests on on the digest, and uh, you know, you and the crew do a great job, and uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. I love being a part of it. Um, it keeps us very busy, like I said, and and uh, you know, no complaints. Much appreciated, especially to the second market um, who actually create that summer sizzler the summer sizzler <laughs> guys please take advantage of it and lock the rates this summer so you're gonna enjoy that special right well said <laughs> thank you so much guys and there you have it dear viewers our heartfelt gratitude to Alex Soslov and Mike Pearson for gracing us with their insights today. Alex's deep dive into the economy and mortgage industry has certainly given us a clear picture of the current scenario, while Mike's unveiling of the summer seltzer promotion has set our sights on the exciting journey ahead. If you enjoy this conversation and want to stay updated with more enriching discussions, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We hope you found this episode as illuminating as we did. Um, keep your eyes on a &D Digest for more engaging conversations and cutting-edge insights. This is Nikita Verindab, signing off. Until next time.